I love caramel. Mmm. Those are good. Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So, I've gotten in a kind of a thing that I'm trying new subscriptions because I really love the ones that I'm already involved in. So, hey, why not try a few more, right? And I love wine. For anyone that knows me, knows I love wine. There was a Bino subscription, which I thought was too stinking cute. Yes, it is. And to my sister Cass, girlfriend, you need this one. So let's talk about this subscription because it is absolutely too stinking cute. And I mean that in a good way. The reason why I like subscriptions is I enjoy trying different things at a really, really, really discounted price. And that's where these subscription boxes come into play because you can get a subscription box and not pay an exorbitant amount of a price to try new products. So it's kind of like trying a bunch of products on a budget. As far as the Vino box goes, this subscription costs and what we got in the box, total value was $170 and above. We're gonna talk about everything that was in the Vino box. Cass, are you watching? This Vino box for February, and I know it's March when you see it. I'm sorry, guys. I was waiting for people to come over to try wine with me, and yeah. It took it till about the end of the month. Cass, I need you here. Fox does have, it just had a February Valentine's type theme and we're going to get into that Valentine's Day type theme and some of you might be asking, why didn't you use it for Valentine's Day? Well, let me tell you, we have several girlfriends here in Dallas, Texas that didn't have a Valentine. All my girlfriends here in Dallas love my husband way better than they love me. Mm -hmm. So those ladies told us, we don't have a Valentine Day, so we're coming to your house. And we did! Uh, my husband had the girls all cards and gifts to celebrate their special day, and our friends are absolutely amazing. But they, I already had a theme picked out for their dinner and their cocktail, and so I went with that theme. Now we're going to get into this box. Finally, you say. Finally. And the crowd goes wild. So in the Valentine's Day box, we have some Cuccio, probably just butchered that one, mm-hmm. The name of that, it's yoga. It's a detox bath, post-practice, relaxing, soak ritual. It's made with Greek, must, oh Lord, I'm not even going there. It's made with some Greek stuff and some Mediterranean sea salts and goji, gohi, I don't know. I am butchering this video more and more as we go, but stay tuned. I'm sure I could screw it up even further. Berry extract. It is for active minds and body, and this is 16 ounces. This normally retails for $40. I do love taking a detox bath. I love sometimes just kicking back, relaxing, enjoying myself, etc. This is for an intense yoga or workout regimen. It's to soothe and relax your muscles. The detox bath is made with sea salts that is unique pre and post workout ritual. Helps to soothe and relax the mind, body, and soul. It's accented with calming scent of eucalyptus, which I love, love, love. I am absolutely going to enjoy, enjoy this. So again, that normally retails for $40. And then this box gets you ready for a hot date. Oh yes, it does. How does that do that, you say? Since this was a Valentine's Day box, it did have a set of earrings. These Jules Smith earrings, they are hoop earrings, and these normally retail for $40 also. And I got this one kind of a little messed up here. It's a little upside down. Aren't those cute? My husband and I actually do have a date tonight, so I plan on wearing these. Mm-hmm, that's right. My husband and I rarely go on dates. We're always just too busy, but I am looking forward to, to wearing these. I enjoy hoop earrings, especially because I have long hair. The earrings, like if I wear a stud, the earrings absolutely just get lost. And so for me, and even, you know, I might have to actually pull back my hair a little bit to make these hoops stand out, but tell me, are those not the cutest? 
Oh yeah, Rob. We are going on a hot date tonight, fella. I do love these hoop earrings. I love that it's a play on the traditional hoop earrings. A little bit different, kind of feisty, saucy, fun, fun, fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was looking in the viewfinder. Don't hate me because I love the these earrings. The next piece we got were two totally cute bubbly type glasses. I love the pink, the mauve type tone, absolutely adorable. The Plum and Punch Toasting Flutes normally retail for $30, and we are going to use one of those today. Oh, yes, we the are. The next piece in our bag was something else that was totally cute, and it came in a nice little bag like this, and it is a pink Emily Bordner tassel. This is $9. Would look great for on the front of a jacket. It could go on the edge of a purse. It could go on your key ring. This actually could do multi-duty. Anywhere that, that you can clip this on, you can have a fun pink tassel. Yeah, and I just thought that was totally cute. I, I do have a nice pink handbag that's in a light, a little bit lighter color than that kind of a soft pink. So I think that could just add a, a bit of pop in color. And it looks like, nope, you can't see them. Mr. Roscoe next has joined in us. this bino box, it came a little box of Biz and Wheezy. That just sounded so dang cute. Biz and Wheezy Artisan Chocolates. These normally retail for $9. I typically don't eat sweets, but let's dig into these. Look at how cute the stamping is on each one of those. Woo! I guess we'll start with that one first to try. Mm. So we have dark chocolate around caramel. I wonder if they're all caramel. Shall we take a chunk off the pink one? Let's do it. Okay. Last These but are not caramel. least is their blends of wine. This is the one that we tried the other night. This normally retails for, I believe it's $21. And this is called New Crush. It's a California red wine blend. It was made in 2016. It says it's a, a New Crush is exciting, often unexpected. It's time to savor the moment. This feeling inspired our new crush wine, creating an exciting and memorable flavor palette to be enjoyed and savored with every sip. It's our new crush. It's a medium bodied uh, wine with bold fruit flavored fruit. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I hadn't had any wine yet. The full body or medium bodied wine and bold fruit. I still can't say it. Fruit forward flavors of black cherry, boysenberry, jam, layered in a mild oakiness and a hint of cedar. An infatuating blend of luscious red flavors with a slight touch of Sweden. Not Sweden. How about sweetness? I think I'm getting high off the bottle. Yeah, Rob's it's cousin gone. was in town and we tried that one together. And so we had a couple bits that we wanted to give on that one. This one had kind of a bit of an aftertaste, and I actually, even though I opened it for us to, to try, I went ahead and put that through an aerator because I wanted to kind of give it the, the thought of the fact that it, it might have been sitting there breathing. Once you kind of close your, your mouth and breathe through your nose, that's when you could kind of pick up some of those berry flavor, uh, flavoring. I wouldn't have thought this would have been a $21 bottle. I would have thought that it would have been less expensive, in all honesty. I think her and I have wine tastes from very inexpensive to expensive. We thought this would have been about a $10 bottle. And then we compared it later that night. Our husbands went and picked up another bottle because she wanted me to try her favorite $10 bottle. And I would say her $10 bottle did taste better than this one. I don't know if it's because this was a red blend. We didn't, you know, in all fairness, we didn't compare a red blend to a red blend. So that could have been it. Probably that was it. But I would have thought this was more of a $10 bottle or maybe less. Kind of shocking there. Now my subscription, I went ahead and did one red and one white. 
I have not had anyone had an opportunity to come and drink some Mad Love with me. This is a 2014 Chardonnay, and let's see where this baby's from. This is also from California. We are going to try this one together, and I still have the sticker on the glass. I've played with these glasses a lot, still haven't pulled out the sticker, so yeah, we're just going to get into this Chardonnay together. Chardonnays are a little bit heavier than say like a, a Pinot Grigio is going to be a little bit kind of lighter, maybe a hint of fruit. A Savion Blanc is going to be really fruity, probably a little bit more dry. Chardonnays to me tend to be a little bit more heavy and depending on how they're made, it could have a bit of an oaky flavor. I used to drink a lot of the Kendall Jackson when I first started drinking Chardonnays. That was kind of like my go-to jam. With kind of where my palate goes all over the board between Chardonnays and Savion Blanc, I'm kind of interested in trying this Mad Love. This Mad Love really isn't, and I'm trying to find some information on Mad Love. Okay, so this is going to be another 20-ish dollar bottle. I, I would say Mad Love is not as heavy as, say, the Kendall Jackson Chardonnay goes. It's a, a bit lighter. I also don't get a heavy hint of an oaky flavor or a barrel flavor. As far as the aftertaste goes, as you breathe through your, your nose, I'm not picking any of that up. This is by far going to be a lighter Chardonnay than some of the other ones that I've tried in the past. If you if you feel like Chardonnays may be too heavy for you, this might actually be the better one to go with. I think between the two, I'm gonna say I enjoyed the white better than I did the red. Although anything goes great with these I'm kind of curious since this is the first kind of wine subscription I've done or re reviewed on my channel kind of what do you think about it? Do any of you guys drink wine? Kind of what is your favorite wines? I'm I'm kind of curious to know. I really do want to hear what you think about uh, this subscription. Uh, if you are a wine drinker, tell me what you think. If you've tried these wines, totally would love to know kind of what you think as far as your palate goes. I'd also like to know as far as if you're not a wine drinker, is this a gift you would give someone that drinks wine. So you don't have to drink wine to give a gift that is absolutely fun like this. Again, hope you enjoy this. Looking forward to seeing you in the next Vino unboxing.